Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Mike Ferris. Thank you so much for watching. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I do this quartz crystal step by step and how I lay this out. So don't forget to check out the description box below where you'll see a list of colors and materials that I'll be using and also links to my Instagram and Ferris Art Like page on Facebook. Now let's get started. Okay, so now I'm starting off. I have a pre-stretched 11 by 14 inch canvas, but you can use any size or type you'd like. And just with some pink chalk, I went ahead and drew out the basic shape. And this is just gonna be my layout of where I'm gonna know to put all the different values of the colors. Okay, so I've got my palette. I've got permanent black, titanium white, and phthalo blue, as you see there. And I'm gonna make this little gray tone here, just a little titanium white with this black, and just get something for a base color for now. And using my number 18 flat brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill some of these shapes in just like so. Okay, and now I'm gonna drag some more titanium white into that gray, and as you can see, it's a lot lighter than what I put down before. And with this, just on the change of the value, I'm gonna go ahead and scratch that in and fill in some of these other shapes. Okay, now I'm grabbing phthalo blue and this permanent black into it and just a little bit of black and this makes the Payne's gray color and a little bit of titanium white so we can brighten that up. And I'm just gonna apply that right here in this triangle centerpiece here for some bright reflective light that I will be adding more bright colors to. Okay, without cleaning my brush, just gonna dip it into some titanium white now, and I'm gonna start to brighten up where this reflective light is gonna be shining the brightest. And so, just gonna fill in carefully on the edge of my number 18 flat brush that I'm using, and I'm just gonna pull that in and begin to build these layers of this bright highlight. Now, when I get down here into this blue area, I'm gonna barely scratch that surface. And if you've seen my other videos you've been watching, you know that this is a dusting technique that I talk about. And that means that I don't wanna load my paintbrush with too much paint at a time because I do wanna be able to dust this in. And if you have too much paint, then you're just gonna get a hard line in between and that natural light transition will get lost. So always load a little bit less than you think you're gonna need because that is probably about the amount that you actually need. So now I'm just gonna drag some of that lighter color that we made before with that gray. And in here and there, I'm just gonna fill in some more of these shapes with that. Okay, now just picking up some titanium white. I did not clean my brush. And with that, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some of these brighter highlight areas. So there'll be some of these shapes up here on the upper left. And then also with some of that paint left on my brush, I'm gonna go ahead and add another bright layer right here. And again, just bringing it down and touching the canvas less and less as I bring it down to dust it into the other color to make that natural light transition. And with a little bit of color left on my brush, now I'm just gonna scratch in some of these detail lines that show some of the cut patterns that are deep within the crystal. Now 
now just a little bit more titanium white, not much. And with that, I'm just gonna use the very corner of my flat brush here. And with that, I'm just gonna dab in like you see there, and that's gonna create some of these highlights and just some of these natural cracks that are kind of deep within this crystal. Okay, now I've got burnt umber and I don't have much raw umber left, which is what I wanted to use. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this permanent black into that just to dull it down like so. And some titanium white, and I'm looking for this light muted brown color, just about like so. And so now another value, and I'm just gonna go ahead and place that right here. And with that color still on my brush, I'm just gonna scratch it into some of these other base coat colors as well. Okay, now I've cleaned off my brush and I did pick up some titanium white and just a teeny bit of that permanent black so that it's not super bright white yet because I wanna build up these layers and dimensions and add texture. So with that, I'm just gonna create some of these shapes right here and have some of that dark gray show through and start to build the dimension and the details for some of the rocks surrounding the crystal. Okay, now with the edge of my flat brush now with some more titanium white, I'm just gonna go ahead and scratch in some of these natural cut lines that'll be showing on some of these rocks. Okay, going back to that light muted brown color, titanium white, a little permanent black, some of this burnt umber. And with that, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some more of that here. And just sort of scratch in some more details. I wanna take it into this blue area, even with just a teeny, teeny bit of color left on my brush, not much. And I wanna show and reflect some of these other colors of the crystal within this reflective light. And that really helps bring it all together and give it that really natural glow shine to it. Okay, and just a little bit more titanium white now on my flat brush and you're gonna scratch in some more lines like here and just sort of dust some of this up and sort of twirl my brush like so, kind of give this little cloud indication. So now up here, I'm just grabbing pure titanium white and again, I'm gonna add another layer and brighten this up even more and again, dust it down by barely touching the canvas as I bring it down into the other colors. Now back to that muted brown color again, that brown, black, and that white. And just gonna lighten that up and make it pretty dull. And with that, I just wanna take and go over some of this dark area that I did in front here. This is gonna be kind of this rock that surrounds the quartz crystal itself. And so this is just gonna add another layer of dimension. And I'll use this for depth and I'll add some shapes and we'll brighten some highlights up. And so I also wanna use this to help create some of these rock formations so not really covering every last bit of it up and now just titanium white and again i did not clean my brush off and this is kind of all sort of coming together as you can see and just making these natural lines that you'd see on the side like so Okay, back to that Payne's gray color, that's the phthalo blue, a touch of black, some white, and I wanna get it on the left like you saw there and reflect some of that reflective light into that side. And now I wanna take it inside here again, and again, just barely dust it into that brighter highlight up top. Don't wanna to cover that all up, but I wanna bring out the vibrance a little bit more. 
Okay, so cleaning off my brush and now just grabbing pure titanium white, I'm gonna come and redefine this bright highlight here. And I'm gonna take that back over this blue as I come down and again, dust it in. And so this playing back and forth with dusting one color back and forth into the other just really helps to bring that natural, more realistic look. And it gives that blending look just a lot more soft look to it. So now I'm gonna take that Payne's Gray, or not sorry, Payne's Gray, uh, regular gray, that's just permanent black now and some white, and going back to that base color and I wanna fill this part of this rock in. Okay, without cleaning my brush again, just titanium white, and with the corner of my brush, I'm just gonna sort of dance it around like you see. And that just kind of helps create more of this texture. And then I'm going to also take that and cover up some of this gray area and just sort of help create some of the dimension in the rock. Okay, now I want to get this really dull orange color now introduced just here and there. A little bit of phthalo blue, a little bit of burnt umber, this cat orange. And most of that color off my brush and mostly titanium white, just a little bit of color on my brush. And I want to just sort of dry brush that in sort of a glazing like way where you can still see all the definition in the rocks that I've done. But now I'm just putting a little bit of this orange color here and there just to kind of indicate some of the mineral colors involved. And with this orange color now, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of this permanent black into it now this time. And I want a little bit darker, but not too much darker. It's more of the value change rather than darker actually. And so with that, that's gonna help to create some of the shadow effect and just some of the more dimensions involved with this mineral change in color. Now back to that dull brown color again, that black, the brown, and the white. And so with that, I'm gonna go up here, and I did lose my triangle shape a little bit, but check this out, this is really easy. I'm just gonna knock that white back just a little bit here with that other color that's right next to it. And just like that, you can fix anything. This is so neat about acrylics. Anything you can wanna do. So now just permanent white, or I'm sorry, pure titanium white. And now I'm gonna start hitting some of these bright highlights here and there, that's the one down on the lower left I did. And now up here again, adding another layer of this direct highlight. And once again, as I get down, I'm just gonna barely scratch that surface and dust it down like so. And then I'm also going to use that while that color is on my brush and also go and brighten up some of these other areas. Now just picking up permanent black and with that I'm going to go ahead and use that to knock back some of these lines and help redefine them. And I'm also going to go over them just a little bit here and there to help settle those down in there making it more natural. Okay, now just wiping off all that black now. I didn't really clean my brush, but I did grab some more titanium white. And so now I wanna brighten some things up and also help to find some of these rocks on this area. more titanium white and once again I'm gonna dab and dance it around like so and create some of these textures. 
Okay, now more permanent black on my brush. And I just wanna give this direct line right here and really define that where the crystal changes right there and gives its geometric shape. And I just wanna dust that down. Okay, now back to my white. And so I'm just going back and forth and just applying layers of colors. I'm grabbing different values of gray. I'm grabbing more titanium white. And each time I go in, as you can see, I'm not covering every last thing up because the motto that I live by that you've heard in other videos is here and there, but not everywhere. Because you don't wanna cover everything up because then you lose your dimension and your texture. And so it's very important to have all of these different values popping through like you see here. And that's what really adds dimension to everything. Okay, after some random values of grays and whites down in the rocks below, coming back up here once again. And once again, another layer, same thing, dusting it down. And also again, some more permanent black to help define the dramatic effect of the change in the geometric shape right here between the light and the dark down below here and also to reshape and redefine and to settle things down and make this more natural and adding more dimension. So now I've got a toothbrush here with lots of water and titanium white on it and I'm just going to use that to flick the bristles and create the splatter paint and that helps to create more texture on these rocks down here. And of course I can just take this permanent black which is what this whole background is and I can just cover up all that splatter that came out of the outsides here. So not worried about that. And when I'm doing this I can also help to redefine some of the edges and help crisp up some of the lines that are too fuzzy on the edges here and all of that in turn will help to really make this pop even more off that black canvas. Okay, now just pure titanium white, and with that I'm just gonna scratch these vertical lines down like so, and I kinda wanna have some of these strokes to show like so, because that helps really show the cut lines that are natural in nature like this when you pull crystals out from caves and stuff, they have these grains of lines that kind of look like a saw cut through them and so I kind of want to make those show up and again just add some more of this titanium white here and there. Now I'm grabbing just permanent black again, and with that, as you see, I'm drawing a line like so. I wanna change the angle of this and give this geometric shape a little bit different of an angle on that side because I felt like that was gonna help create just a little bit more dimension in this. And I also wanted to show you guys how if you don't like something or your layout's not right or you go outside of your lines on any of your shapes, you can always just cover it up and push the color that is right over the one that's wrong and it's kind of like those colors are taking authority over those other colors, pushing them back, saying, hey, you've crossed the line, pal. You go back to your spot. You're in my spot. And so it just kind of retakes over where it's supposed to be. So now I'm just getting the corner of my brush now with some titanium white, and I'm just kind of dabbing in this cut line that's deep within the crystal like you saw there. And just gonna go and just apply some more layers and with this titanium white, just brighten some more things up.
Okay, so now I wanna take that dull orange color again. That's a little phthalo blue, some cad orange, a little bit of burnt umber, some titanium white, and just make that muted orange and re-put that back in and bring it out one more time. Okay, now back to titanium white after cleaning my brush again. And once again, I wanna hit some of these direct bright highlights. And as the saying goes, here and there, but not everywhere. Okay, and right here, just direct highlights here and there. A few little scratch lines, not much. And just gonna use my finger to help settle those into there more naturally looking. And just adds more detail and direct highlights. Okay, back to our muted brown color again. And once again, gonna apply that here and there, but not everywhere. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to take my script liner brush, lots of water, titanium white. I want to thank everybody so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share with friends, families, and neighbors. And until next time, guys, be on the lookout for the next video by subscribing and happy painting.